Hello YouTube, Elmi here, talking about uh, my latest uh, Threadripper uh, build here. And uh, just want to give you a little video of what I got going on here. I just kind of threw this together for the time being. Eventually it's going to go into my copper build that is sitting over there, that copper frame that's sitting over there. And those copper radiators you can see in the bottom, but eventually this is going to go over there. Anyways, I just want to go over some specs and my layout just to let you guys know exactly what I'm doing here. So, <clears throat> right now I have my ghetto uh, radiator set up here. A Mora 3 Rad with a big box fan behind it. I had to put this, uh, I had to put this tape here because the box fan actually, so much air is pushing off the box fan that the box fan actually pushes away from the radiator. So I had to put that tape there to keep it from moving. But... Um, I'm using uh, the Primo Chill LRT tubing here. Uh, I'm using some Thermal Take uh, compression fittings because the uh, the Primo Chill fittings that I ordered uh, were not working out very well. The tubing seemed to want to fall out pretty easily, so I switched the fittings out. But anyway, this is a Thread Ripper here. I'm running the 1950X in here. Uh, this is the XSP the XSPC Raystorm Neo water water block. And I have a little RGB uh, strip going around the water block that I'll eventually fix, but I have it plugged into the motherboard here. Um, here is the G-Skill DDR4 3600 CAD 16, which is the Samsung BDI memory right now. It's currently running at DDR4 3200 at CAS 14 with no issues. And of course, I got my Vega 64 here with the EK backplate. And there it is right there, it's the Vega 64. Um, I'm running the Asus Extreme Zenith Extreme motherboard, and uh, the motherboard's been really, really, really rock solid. I've had this up and running for about 10 days now, and this thing is running really good. This is a 10 gig NIC card. I haven't even tried to mess with yet. Right here, I'm running the Asus. This is the Asus STX2 sound card right here for my audio. I really like high-end audio. It sounds so much better than onboard audio. Onboard audio has come a long ways over the years, but still is nothing compared to a, to a really high-end sound card like this right here. Um, yeah, so over here I have a custom Ryzen Threadripper Reservoir that was built by Radical Customs. It has a D5 mounted right to the back. Um, yeah, this guy makes custom reservoirs. It's called Radic Radicult, R-A-D-I-K-U-L-T, -A -A I believe. Uh, I'm running the Intermax, Max Revo 1500 watt power supply there. It's kind of just sitting on the desk. And under here, this is where the M.2 is underneath this cover right here. And I'm running the Samsung 960 Pro NVMe underneath that heat sink right there. And yeah, so this is my current setup. I just want to make a quick YouTube video and kind of share share all my things right now uh my temperatures are pretty amazing on here right now um let's see here <clears throat> so right now my my gp right now is sitting at 18c right now at idle 18c and then it gets up to about uh, it's around 37C when it's running. Sometimes if my garage is a little on the warm side, it gets up to 39. But it's usually sitting around around 37C uh, when my garage is on the cooler side. And sometimes it goes down to 35C, but usually it runs right around 37 uh, on on load when I'm playing video games. So it's running really 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 cool. And I don't have a temperature monitor on the on the CPU yet, but um, it was also some similar temperatures too. Anyways, that's my uh, that's my whole build. Uh, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday on Twitch forward slash Elmnator. It's E L M N A T O R. You can come check me out on Twitter. I play a bunch of video games. I Actually, when I was putting this thing together, I was doing it all live on stream. So I do a lot of water cooling builds. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys another water cooling build that I'm working on. This is my green screen right behind me. 
but here's a radiator here for my son's build. This is my son's build that we're currently working on. We're going to start working on this today. Some more. And going to try to get this thing all put together. And then over here is my copper thing. And inside these front two things here are going to be uh, RGB lights that are going to have like water bubblers in the bottom of it. But those are my radiators that are going to go in here. And it's all going to be copper pipe for all the all the pipe running between the radiators and the everything in there it's all going to be copper polished pipe yep here's a here's a chrome radiator i took out of a build it's all a little bit dusty that just came out of one of my builds that i tore apart uh here's the back side of this rising reservoir here so you can see exactly how the d5 mounts it's a pretty amazing little little reservoir this guy made once again, this is just all temporary. Uh, I just wanted to get it up and running, and then I'm going to start working on that here real soon. I've been putting it off for about two and a half years, that build, that copper build, but I'm finally going to get back to it and, and get it done. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, write down below. You can also follow me on Twitter at ELMNATOR at Elminator. Thanks for watching.